This is Spice Reynolds, and we're broadcasting live, for me, from warm, super, hot, and humid. Yeah, warm, super, hot, and humid, Michigan. That's right. Um, I'm just recording this video for the second time. If that tells you anything. Uh, gives you any context. Uh, I was recording for like eight minutes and some change, and I got into some stuff that I really wanted to just say, and it didn't end up saving. So, I'm just forever grateful that Apple understands how to program products pro properly and make them so that they can actually tell you the truth. But maybe someday. I don't think that's going to ever come. So, Anyways, uh, the last video I was like, oh, we got, we got fans in the windows. It's, it's warm in here. We have no AC for right now until it gets repaired tomorrow. And I walked out here, and I was like, oh, hey, look it. Look at that fan blaring too. And I walked in here and I was talking about something meaningful to myself at the time. Um, yeah. Oh, that's it. There we go. I'll just. Hopefully this thing saves. That's the fucking thing though. Like, I should never feel. Hopefully this thing saves. If it's not saving, it should just stop. It should just not continue rolling and telling you that it's gonna save. It should just stop. So, man, good gravy. I don't like to. Like, I'm like, oh yeah, I'll just say, I'll share something. Something I wanted to talk about. And then I'll just be pinged by frustration because of something that, like, it's literally, like, my pet peeve. I don't think it's a pet peeve. It's just, just design things right. Craftsmanship is a value of mine. And it's not present in Apple's interior. So, man, if they made these things operate half as well as they made them look, they'd be the best. So, anyways. I made this because I was saying I, um... I, I'm afraid to even talk right now. I'm like, is what I'm saying? While I'm saying this right now, I'm like, is what I'm saying going to even be saved, stored, and shared? So, <sighs> stressful. Dumb stress. So, I, I just feel weak sharing it. Like, it's just, to me, that I can, I'm just like, am I dumb? Am I the fool for using this device? Like, do I have to make sure it's 100%, like, brand new every time I use it just so it doesn't shit out on me? You're telling me people use these at shows, they prefer a MacBook on a stage to rely on? Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> so, anyways, um, yeah, I was making this because I, I'm i done. This is a non-grail related Spice spice up, update video, little recap of my life. How's, how's things going? Things going pretty well. Um, been playing, um, well, I, I've been playing a lot less RuneScape. Um, produced some tracks, a little bit of a schnoobly. I gave you a little taste test in the last one, but apparently it never saved, so it's not real. Never happened. It's just ten minutes of my life that'll never come back, so. Uh, really rough song. It moves well. It's just fluffy and hollow and uh, unrefined. Doesn't really tell too much of a story. I'm just like, oh, this is cool sounds. Let's toss it in there. So I made that. Um, also, got to play some Super Smash Bros. with um, Spicy Lassies, Spice Slices, uh, last Tuesday. So that was a lot of fun. I actually ended up buying a, uh, I bought a Nintendo Switch in Smash Bros. the last couple weeks, just so I could not sit there. And it's cool because on the Space Laces HQ Discord channel, he every, t well, so far every Tuesday, he'll uh, Ian Space Laces will. Uh, play with his uh, kind of fans and his people. The people pretty, it's pretty much just a bunch of uh, gamers who are producers. <laughs> we just they get in there and then like after you, yeah. So um, that's pretty cool. Really a lot of fun. Um, been doing that on Tuesdays. Sometimes I'll forget, but still a good time to, to go and join. <sighs> Other than that, um, I got a new truck for myself, which is really cool. Ren too, the second, second Ren. Um, I do miss my first, my first one, though I guess I just wasn't serious enough, so, yeah, I'd like to be more serious about it, and, uh, there's that, and at the end of my last chat, I was really talking about the, becoming a, like, a professional actor, focusing on that, just realizing the stuff that I have, and kind of still facing this challenge of comfort, and, uh, this challenge of, not limiting myself when I'm around. Like right now, like I should be f free as fuck, 
to just scream, shout, rap, sing, tell stories, do whatever I need to do it as loud as I want to do it, um, and just make the sounds. But like I'm literally like I'm in this. I found myself in this this community that I, I moved into. It's an apartment complex. Um, and I just still feel limited. I don't like being around other people. I think that's it. Like after this last little micro move. I'm just like, oh, okay, sweet. I don't want to have to get rich to just buy some land and get a workshop. I don't think it's that expensive. It's probably, like, a good year's worth of work, and you could buy, like, a nice plot of land with some fucking land on it. Uh, even then, you could probably even get it sooner. But I'm not trying to talk about money this episode. I just know what I need, and I'm refining what I want more. And I'm like, I need that. I want land, and I want a workshop, and I want to just create by myself, alone, for fucking however long I need to. And I don't want to just get that out of my system. I don't want to just move on. I want to continue studying. I want to study um, professional theater and uh, dramatic arts and uh, performing arts. It's just, in general, it's the same thing, I know, but, I mean, music production or music is, is the same. It's, it's right in that. Music, not production, but music uh, performance is the same thing, pretty much. It's just acting, essentially. You're just telling a story, making it present now, so you could, somebody that can taste test it, and then maybe you... you aid that story with other complementary elements like visual stuff that's uh what's the word in continuity so it's like it's in alignment you know if i'm from like the 20s and i'm riding a horse or something uh i think there was horses at that time um i'm not going to be in like a 2020 vehicle you know what i mean you know what i mean so that's what i'm trying to uh talk about then but anyways i'm just rushing through this because i I shared a video just now, it wasn't saved, and it was my first one, I was really excited, I had a lot of energy, cool stuff, and rest in peace to Trevor Moore, the really funny actor from The Whitest Kids You Know, it's a comedy troupe, yeah, I think he passed away yesterday or the day before, I just got news of it by looking at my phone today, and uh, it's kind of lame, it's really lame, he's a really cool artist, and um, it just kind of has this fire more lit under my ass, where I'm like, we really do die. We are hella temporary out here, so, um, yeah, that's kind of like a little bit of like, I feel like there's a twang of frustration within my, my voice and my tone, outside of the whole my video didn't save, I'm kind of past that, uh, not really, I'll never be past that, <laughs> but, uh, it's mainly this whole, like, we have so much time, like, why don't we, why don't I have just this ideas that I've shared and I thought about when I thought about them, why weren't they shared then? Why weren't they, like, just put out there? Why weren't they crafted? Why weren't prototypes in existence? Why didn't I just act upon the stuff, you know? And, like, I don't want that to be a lingering feeling of, like, why didn't I, you know? So it will just be, like, focused on the past and regrets. So I think that, um, it's just, like, I guess we just take belligerent action. And then we find ourselves struck by inspiration amidst that belligerent action. So we're just always acting in the direction of this idea. And then now when maybe ideas hit us, we just jump into them and we can execute on them and make them happen or something. I'm not really sure how to word it, but I'm just tired of feeling limited in my life. Like, I'm a fucking man in 2021, young. I, I feel I have so much to offer that I can actually, like, bring to the table for the world and for even for myself to just express living me the best I can. And, um... I just don't too often like I'm like here or like I don't think it's a here thing or just a location thing I just gotta find find peace and, and then that's it and it's like like being an artist around the trap I'm like okay cool so I just get stupid rich and then become an artist like is that how I do it like I get like I just you know so I'm figuring out how I want to do it for myself and uh, it's just interesting it's just interesting because we're all here just alone doing stuff for ourselves existing and uh experiencing these lives how we wish to for ourselves so um anyways i said a lot of stuff that was a little bit different in the last video that didn't say um but here we are now and that's really what i wanted to ex express and i got the 90 day challenge out of uh out of the way from grail that that i conquered uh i destroyed him in the challenge and um yeah, and then that's about it. That's about it. So, um, I don't really want to talk about what I want to do. So, I'm going to say farewell. Take care. Uh, I'd say new music's on the way. If there's anything fresh or that I'm like, kind of proud of or think is kind of cool, 
people might want to hear, uh, just go to spicereynolds.com and it'll just be like a forwarded link to some something I'm just like kind of recently shared. So take care. That's all I want to say today, and uh, I hope this video saves. Farewell. <laughs> Please.